Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church here in Waterford, Michigan. This whole week, we are talking about God's promises. And we're using the story of Abram and Sarai, or Abraham and Sarah. The scripture that we focused on on Sunday was in chapter 17 of uh, Genesis, which God once again comes to Sarah uh, and Abraham, uh, or uh, at that point, Abram and uh, Sarai, and changes their name to Abraham and Sarah, uh, giving them a new identity, saying, look, I'm going to make good on this promise. The promise begins, though, about five chapters earlier in in um, in uh, Genesis. So I'm going to read the, the first three verses of chapter 12 in Genesis. Now the Lord said to Abram, go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and the ones who curse you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. That's the Genesis. That's the very beginning of God shaping God's people, creating God's people, literally out of uh, this nomadic tribe where he comes to Abram and um, he uh, he says in the beginning of, of chapter 17 that, you know, walk with me and be blameless in my ways, which was, means that, he, that God is recognizing that Abra, Abram, soon to be Abraham, is 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 good people, that, that he's able to, to, to receive this promise and be faithful to it. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow. But, but uh, that it all begins with this great concept that um, God keeps promises, you know, from, from the original promise in chapter 12 to the beginning of the fulfillment of it in chapter 17. Uh, we are continuing to remember, it might uh, remind it that it might take time, but God makes good on God's promises. Um, the, and then the New Testament tells us um, in Hebrews uh, 10, verse 36, for you need endurance so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. You know, so that means for us that we receive this promise also. Paul makes it, the Apostle Paul makes it very clear that if we belong to Christ, that is, if, if we are Christ, then we are also Abraham's offspring, heirs to this great promise. So we are also promised to be a great part of God's people on earth. So what does it mean for us to inherit a promise? You know, often when we think of uh, um, inheritance, we think of, well, you know, when a loved one passes, then they pass on their earthly uh, belongings to someone else. But this is a promise that God made to Abraham, and that God fulfills in, in history and to every generation, that God promises us that we will also be blessed and that we will uh, bear that promise. So I want you to ask you, do you feel blessed in order to be a blessing to others? Do you feel like God's promise to make you a great people uh, has has been delivered and therefore you can be a, a, a deliverer of other people, that you can be a blessing to others, that you can be somebody that impacts the lives of others for the good of the world. That's what God is counting on. God has blessed us people. We are a blessed people and we can anticipate God's blessing in, in ways that will make us um, uh, inheritors of those promises uh, that will go beyond all of our expectations in bearing a witness for God's purposes here on earth as it is in heaven. Let's pray. Gracious God, help us to consider what it means to, to be inheritors of the promises that you gave to Abraham 5,000 years ago that we would be your people also, that we would continue to be a great nation, a great people who will be blessed in order to be a blessing to others, that we will receive your blessing so that we may be that blessing for others. Gracious God, we thank you uh, for your call upon our lives. We ask that your grace be with us as we seek to be your people. In Christ's name we pray. 
Amen. Well, friends, have a great Thursday and God bless you.